up here in the attic checking out a water heater. I think it might be time for a new one. Three steps into the inspection and I found some of these little guys. Oh yeah, dry wood. There's evidence of previous termites on this property. Looks like they painted over it. I'm just brushing my finger. Obviously there's some damage already. Found some more dry wood frass upstairs in the window. They're here. Nail straight through the wire. I think they're missing a piece. Missing a piece. Kitchen. In the kitchen. Faucet doesn't work correctly. It also has a corrugated drain. The drain slopes up. Drain is leaking. Dishwasher doesn't have the proper air gap. Over here we have some prior repairs to the plumbing. So it looks like we're tied into some galvanized pipes. The dishwasher door does not open all the way. The microwave does not heat anything up. So what else do we got? Over here we have a wet bar, or makings of a wet bar, but there's no cap on the drain line. Over here inside this cabinet, we have at least one electrical panel made by our favorite uh, Federal Pacific. So we'll be writing that up as well as anything we find in there. And uh, that's our fun kitchen. This balcony is holding water and it's collecting it at such a rate, it's creating stalactites. You can see the water dripping from right there. That's pretty neat. You don't see that every day. Here's something you don't see every day. The reverse, so the doors are switched. So we got cleaning crews in the house. It's a new build, uh, halfway through the inspection. They come and turn the water off to the property. I'm like, okay, that's probably working on something. And then I find it. Yes. yes. This might be the worst framed house I've ever seen. The entire stairway, they got studs that just don't touch the bottom plate all the way through. I'm not sure what those studs are doing but they're not touching the ground all these are cut too short step treads are all damaged missing nails there 
these treasures tore up. That's just sticking out past the edge of the wall. That's fun. And they don't know how to do a, uh, a circular frame. That's sticking out. That's sticking out. Maybe a striker plate right there. It's sticking out. Sticking out. He's got nails poking out here. It's sticking out there. Sticking out there. Yeah, this is rough. That's beautiful right there. I'm not sure what's going on. Except for the ball door. <laughs> I'm buckling, buckling, buckle, buckle, buckling, buckling. Every day I'm buckling, every day I'm buckling. This receptacle is not working, but it is hot. No power. And this label, I don't know if you can read it or not, but at the very bottom by this little screw, it says copper only. That's definitely not copper. Okay. Something tells me the drain is not connected. So here we have our gas line. It goes under the furnace, comes up here, across the top of the furnace, there's your valve, to flex, to rigid again, and there's your sediment trap, rigid all the way into the furnace. There, to there. Okay. Close enough. I'll give them E for effort. Got a nice trim board. Goes out to the brick. It's also like a super key trap, slow draining. This drain size is too small. That toilet is loose. And this dishwasher has no high loop, the slope of this drain is negative, so it's not going to drain properly, it's going to leak. We got a winner. 
All right, so we have adhered stone veneer here. Uh, no weed screws above the window. You got a gutter that's really close, the no kick out flashing. You can see the water staining coming from below the gutter all the way down. Check the substrate under here, and it's just crumbling to pieces. We're gonna go inside. And we can see that they have replaced the baseboard in this corner. There's some weird texture water standing above the baseboard, so let's see what we got. Oh! Water intrusion. Hey, sorry about the leaf blower, but I'm doing a stucco inspection this morning, and this is what you never want to see. Well, this air filter doesn't look too bad. to glue that together. Uh-oh. Little double-wide house. And I'd love to access the AC unit. But they boarded it up. I'll get a good view anyway. Got a lot of rodent activity in this area. Looks like the range hood is terminating in this area, staining all this wood and attracting rodents. I can smell them. Running the heater right now, and I found two missing registers. Yay! Why do they put this scuttle hole access if there's no access provided? Sold this then. You like a little, a little nine millimeter. I don't do a lot of posting, but this was too priceless. This is the laundry hose bibs here, and right in between we've got Mr. Water Heater, and on the other side is the drain. That's a peach. So I'm up in this 1989 attic and I noticed that there's a lot of char on the roof members around the water heater. There's also no draft hood and it's also dumping all that carbon monoxide back into the house. All the corrosion on the fittings. 